In today's lab, we'll be doing a DNA extraction. DNA is the genetic makeup that makes up almost all of living organisms. So um, in today's lab, we're gonna be working on uh, taking the DNA from strawberries. So here I have frozen strawberry mixture that's kind of slurried a little bit, and I've been smashing for a couple of minutes now. What we're gonna be doing is taking this slurry mixture and pouring it into a 250 mil um, beaker. Now to our slurry, we're gonna add um, our extraction solution to extract the DNA from our um, strawberries. Once we have our, uh, DN our DNA extraction buffer and our uh, strawberry mixture together, we're gonna mix it just a bit with our stirring rod and then place it in our hot bath that is at around 60 degrees uh, Celsius. We will now leave that in for about 15 minutes. Over the course of the next 15 minutes, we'll be recording the observations and you should too. Now that the 10 minutes are up, we're going to take our beaker out of our hot water bath and carefully place it into an ice bath. And we'll let that go for another 10 minutes. Let's remove the solution from our ice bath. I noted that it was slightly thicker um, and no color change. So instead of uh, blending the solution next. We're going to stir vigorously and then pour our solution through cheesecloth into our beaker below.
once we have our solution of our strawberry mix, we'll then estimate the amount of uh, solution that we have in our beaker and measure out the same amount of isopropyl. We'll then take our isopropanol and slowly pour it along the edge of the beaker, being very careful to not disturb the layer of strawberry underneath. We'll let this sit for about two minutes, and in the meantime, we'll watch for any precipitation of our DNA, which is the cloudy, somewhat translucent um, film layer that you see in between. We'll now collect our DNA by using our stir rod and slowly pulling the layer away. And there you are.